Well, there's not any frost on the pumpkin yet, but it's definitely colder out than I want it to be. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Anglin Anarchy, and we're tired, and it's cold out today. <laughs> it's in the mid 40s this morning, there's a little uh, fog on the on the water, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but uh, we still have 68 degree water temps. Uh, it's cooler in the shallows obviously, because that's going to get hit hardest. But uh, yeah, we're on day 7 of Muskie Mission 2021. Glad to be back up here after all this uh, COVID crap. There was a few hoops to jump through to get across the border, but it wasn't much of a problem. Uh, the muskies have been a problem, though. I shouldn't say that. The weather's been a problem. It's been a little bit rough uh, dealing with the wind, but we've got a nice calm morning. We're going to hit some deep weeds that we've seen some big fish in. Top waters, I think, are going to be in play. Big bucktails, maybe little bucktails. We'll see. Uh, Navins have been working really well lately as well. We've got another boat up here with us and they've been doing good on uh, diving rice baits. So with that, Jamie and I are going to get to fishing here. Let's see if we can get a muskie. Fish. Yeah. Big fat butterball. Did she come up high at all? Yep. She gave me one good look on the end with the nose up close and then she kind of peeled off. Guess what time we just ski? <laughs> 830. <laughs> you called it. Head was smaller, but big. yeah, fat body, on big it. fat one. She's okay, only like a 44 or something like that, but she was just a little piggy. Yeah, well, that's good. At least you're getting followed, Jay. All right, well, we've switched tactics. Uh, we've quickly found out that the weeds weren't going, so we were on some rock spots now, and I'm throwing an eight inch navin. Uh, some other folks have been moving some fish on diving rises. Jamie's got let me see that big old thing. Hey, 10 inch mini, cranking her off the rocks and uh, got the nose to show it. We've been beating up on that girl pretty good. Oh, just had a fish up on that one. So we've got a miner coming up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing the uh, Navin on a surgical strike, nine foot, 2020 telescopic with a 400 tranks. And Jay's got his on a, uh, what do you got? Like a shock and off. Shocking off for the big wood and a Tranks 500. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully, that miner gets these fish kicked into high gear for us. There's a fish, there's a fish. Nope, he's still there. Yeah, he is, that's a hotter fish, Brian. Yeah. Boy, they don't like it when you go down. He stuck with it better than the other ones did. Yeah, oh, he's still there, he's still there. Oh, 
Oh, I think I hit him, Jay. Not chasing me up though, huh? I think I hit him. I went down like this and I felt a bump. I was trying to go deep on it, and I'm pretty sure I tapped him. You were going to have to work awfully hard to ramp him up. Yeah. You Ooh. I made that. I made that cast out this way. That's how I brought him up, though. Off that spine, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly where it was because I cast right at the waypoint. So. Oh man. What? How many is that? Like five follows in each. Each follow has gotten six. hotter and hotter and hotter. Okay. Five and six. Oh, come on, fish. Let's do this. Usually my best action has been early evening out here, like that 6 to 7 p.m. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever done anything in the morning here, but I don't think I fished it very much in the morning to really say that I had good or bad. Definitely sporting a northeast wind right now. Fish, big fish. Yeah, he got really close to it. That got scary close. Yeah. Oh, that was like a 46 type. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she came up real, like we got within a few inches of the bait. Hit, I, I got on the turn out there and she was inches away, like a couple inches like. <gasps> Glad I put that bait back on. Just slowly, just didn't come around. Just yeah. gave me one turn. Well, I, I gotta get him on the first turn right now. Yeah. They're ramping up anyway, it seems like. Nice fish. bit smaller. She turned again though. One turn. I can get one turn. It's pretty close to the bait but not swinging. God dang it. Alright I'm gonna keep ripping the bait because I was doing pretty good ripping on that one. Are you going inside the rack? No. I'm I'm still I'm in 17 feet of water here. Oh, I'm, I'm on the line we took last night. It's stayed in 17 plus the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That was a nice fish. Yep. Yeah. I brought it up. I brought it up here and he slowed down pretty good. Whew. Whew. That got me going. <laughs> well, I mean we never had any like real like hits though. Had little bats and swats and fish. Medusa. Come here, Jake. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Okay. All right. Okie dokie. That's kind of cool. She's out. Oops. Put her on spot lock here. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep. Well, I was up close enough to the rock, man. I thought I might have been hitting rock, but it was a fish. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's not. She's not gigantic, but it's. A, Right, right. All right, girl, settle down. Quick peek at you. Oh yeah, no, that's a just a short, short, stocky fish. Nice, beautiful Eagle Lake fish here. Oh man, after morning we raised what almost a dozen fish. Some came so close to hitting and just wouldn't. So to get one to go is really cool. She's gonna pop a little bit here. Just settle down, girl. She's not a big one. She's 38 and a half, 39. All the fish seen out here, she's, she's probably the smallest one, but she's about ready to pop here. So I'm gonna get her in here. Yep, there she goes, there she goes. All right. Oh, we were literally about to go back in. And I said, let's try one more spot. We'll switch up baits, because we'll ch we've been throwing crank baits. And the switch worked, at least for one. There's a couple more that we can target out here, so let's see what happens. All right, we got that fish on a regular Medusa. This is kind of a custom color I had made years and years ago. Um, kind of a gold pearl perch pattern. Oh man, I'm still out of breath, kind of. That was on a nine foot SWAT 2020, 500 tw tranks. And uh, this uh, Barbarian Braid stuff, it's a pretty sweet line. I like it so far. Just been trying it out for the past couple of uh, fishing trips, but I like it. So check that stuff out for your, especially for your heavier rods. It's a little bit thicker, so it fills up a 500 tran I don't know how it would do on a 400, but I'm sure it would be fine. But yeah, check that out. It's pretty cool stuff. All right, folks, that is the first half of day seven from our August Eagle Lake trip this year. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We had fish going that morning. They were ramping up and we finally got that nice little specimen on a regular Medusa. So part two will be coming up. We've got day eight, so we've got a couple more musky videos from Canada. I've got some dogfish videos. I've got some pike videos and as always, um, I'm trying to get musky content. It's been tough lately here in southern Wisconsin. I'm heading to Iowa. I'm going to fish with my buddy Matt Vavrock and a, another special guest. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get uh, get out in November and December and do a little musky fishing. Uh, but that's the plan for right now. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is a lot of work. I, I just love it that you guys are watching this stuff. So. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.